Welcome, Pisces. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, Pisces. Wow, Pisces, it is your season. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Pisces. All right, Pisces, this is your season. Oh, what a wonderful season. All right, so Pisces, your season begins from February 20th until uh, February 19th until the 20th of March. So Pisces, oh my God. All right, so uh, Pisces, wonderful. Congratulations. I love you, Pisces, so much. Um, this is your season, so I'm going to be looking at all of you who were born in this season, the spicy season, and where we're going to be recognizing um, what is coming up. So week by week, please write down your weeks and what is going to be your sweet week um, because um, it is going to be coming up. Remember to go check out um, your birthday reading. So your weeks begin from week one. Week one. It is from the 19 until the 28. So what is happening and transpiring Pisces? The 19 to the 28, for the people who were born in this um, in this time frame, this collective time frame, 19 of February until 28 of February, I see the conflicts is going to be over. The inner conflicts, the conflicts is going to be over. And the five of swords is about inner conflicts, okay? And it's about um here, it's about whenever the five of swords comes up in the room, it's about Venus in Aquarian, some sort of a breakdown and uh, human humanitarian facing defeat conflicts. But no, absolutely not. Okay. Um, whatever is transpiring, um, Pisces, you are really, um, taking down a situation, taking back your powers in a very wonderful way. But it, it is in a way of calmness, okay? It, it's not in power. It's not a power struggle or a power push. It is that you're letting people know, this is how far I go. And, you know, you, you gotta recognize that, um, you know, Pushing is not going to be helping. So what you're doing is basically the five of swords energy is a, a sort of a self-destructiveness that you're no longer going to be doing. So this is really, really good. It's as if go check out your birthday reading for this timeline. So 19 February until the 28th of February, anyone that was born in that region, you always self-destruct. Okay, and it's as if you're not doing it anymore. Okay, it's as if you are recognizing that you're always self-destruct. You're always doing things to self-destruct yourself in a, a certain situation. And I see you no longer is doing that. It's, it's as if you recognize, hey, you know, I have to, you know, choose the right thing um, in my life and recognize the right thing that I'm. Um, and, 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 you know, do things in the right and proper way because I have been self-destructing myself for a very long time. And it's as if you guys are going to be recognizing this time, this year, this period, this season, I have to change. I have to change from doing that because sometimes I'm on the right part and because of my thought, I self-destruct what I was about to do. So I, you know, you gotta, you gotta bring this back in. You gotta bring it back. You gotta bring it back. You gotta understand. Hey, I can't keep on doing these self-destructive situation because it's not helping anymore. Um, so, you know, this is a time when you Pisces are going to be recognizing I have been creating so much issues for myself, um, by self-destructing Good things that could be coming in. And now, I'm, you know, people are now recognizing, hey, you know, what I have been doing is wrong. And I got to let it go. And I got to reconstruct my thinking. My thinking is the thoughts that I send out. And I got to reconstruct my thinking in order to accumulate what it is that I want. So this is going to be powerful. All right. So let's look at the people who were born the 1st of March until the... 7th of March. That's the second week. You have the energy of the magician in the reverse. Now, the energy of the magician, it is always uh, 
um the energy of the gemini okay the energy of the gemini it's about fast thinking using the sword of truth in the right way having all the tools that you have in your hands to use but yet still not seeing it because you're looking back looking back at something that didn't work out for you and is is craving for that thing that has never worked out for you so why are you looking back at the thing that never works out for you and why are you craving for that thing that has never worked out for you it is time for you to look forward it is time for you to recognize i have all the tools in my hands and i need to use all these tools in my hands you are looking back and thinking about something that never worked out for you and it's about time the universe is saying hey 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 snap out of it snap out of it come back and recognize that that thing has a workout there is a better future for you ahead and there is a better future that is coming in for you so you got to recognize um you know when it is it's as if uh, um this cycle is coming up in this year to say to you pisces you gotta snap out this is the energy that is going to be uh, um you know running you pisces throughout the season because this energy is saying, Pisces, you got to snap out. You got to snap out of the situation. It is bad. It is what it is. Let go of the situation. It's not working out anymore. It is a situation that you have been clinging on um, in the past that is not working out anymore. So it is, um, it's like, wake up, wake up, Pisces, snap out of it. This dream time is over. Wake up and look in um, to the future to see what you can create in the future because you have multiple tools in your hands to do that. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful ladies and gentlemen. Let's look at the third week. These are the people who were born 8 until the 14. The 8 until the 14th of um the 8 until the 14th of of uh, March. Now it is a wonderful, wonderful season for you guys because uh, somehow some of you fell um, and uh, what is going to be transpiring is that the desire and your energy, you have lost your desire and energy, you have lost your spark, uh, but this is going to be coming back, okay? Truth and alter alter authenticity is going to be coming back, okay? And, you know, you're going to be burning away all the obstacles in order to create a new start um, for your project or a new start for you. So I see some of you, your project was down. It was uh, some of you, you know, you lose your desire of life, of uh, uh, you lose your desire of something. And you are going to be regaining and is going to be putting that back in focus, and this is going to be extremely good because what you're doing is that you recognize that I have to refuel myself. So a lot of you could be just using this year to refuel yourself and your energies in order to find what it is that you're desired and what it is that you're looking for and what it is that you need to find in order to create some sort of a balance for yourself in this world. And this is going to be absolutely good because what is going to be happening and transpiring is that you're going to be recognizing how to rebalance these issues and these situation and understanding, hey, you know, life has spun out of control for me, but yet still I'm going to be recognizing that this is going to be recumulated as I sit and show the universe what is my desire and recreate my life and create everything and this is going to be good so you know this is going to be a really wonderful um year for you guys but it's about you not rushing but trying to create something new and sitting down and really thinking about what is the decision that you're about to make what it is that you need to change in order to recreate these situations so it's going to be a powerful year for you guys because you're really recreating yourself and really creating new possibilities new business new project new um way of creating your financial stability moving forward so this is going to be powerful it's about you going within taking time to use the gifts and tools that you have to recreate something new for yourself wow so that is absolutely absolutely powerful that is a powerful alignment of energy you know um the stride the inner stride that sort of a situation is going to be over and you guys are going to be recognizing where you are 
Okay, so here we have um, in the fourth week, this week, right, the down is from uh, the 15th until the 20th of March. This is a week from the 15th until the 20th of March. You're dealing uh, with a hurt of earth. This is a young lady. It is a hurt of earth. This young lady is between the ages of 18 and 45. Whoever this young lady is, for some of you, I see her not getting a new start. So if you are dealing with a young lady between the ages of 18 and 45, this person is not going to be getting a new start. Um, this person could be coming up between the ages of 18 and 50. This person is not going to be receiving a new start because they recognize in some sort of an unconventional situation that this person have done. It could be a child that some of you is worried about that you are sending to college, university, school, whether or not you will have the money to pay. So I see a lot of you who were born um, fifteen between the 15th and the 20th of March is thinking about this young person. Whether this young person is, is between the ages of 18 and 15. 50 okay 18 and 50 and whoever this person is between the age of 18 and 50 is not going to be receiving a new start whatever um that was there they're recognizing how far this person has gone to create some sort of a problems and issues and how they have create some sort of a undesirable situation um for some of you who are in a relationship with this person so I see you're not going to be giving this person a new start, whether this person is, whether it's a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. A lot of you are not going to give this person a new start because you recognize that this person have done some real um, unkind situations to some of you, whether it's a friend, whether it's a child, whether it's a cousin, whether it's a relative, whoever this person is, you recognize uh, that this person will never have a new start with you because of some sort of a situation that has uh, happened between you and this person. So go and check the crystal to find out who is this person and how is this person affecting your life. Now, some of you could be taking on the energy of this earth to her person, which is responsible, kind, and supportive, okay? Whoever this person is, is usually... Um, you know, a young lady between who is rather quiet and the spotlight is always on them, even if they don't want to be in the spotlight, okay? This is someone who thought quietly and very shy, okay? This person is uh, um, extremely hardworking and responsible, okay? She handles details and logic well with people, okay? She can see through the illusion of what other people or creating um and she is deepened by her thoughts okay she has a fast amount of inner strength like all of uh, um you know these earth people where you're thinking about um the Tor the taurus virgo or capricorn they are really they have a, 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 like a born of uh, inner strength and whether this person has has a lot of inner strength okay this person thrive through natural nature. So whoever this person is and however they're going to be affecting you, it can be in a good way, it can be in a positive way. It depends on who you are and what is transpiring. So expect to deal with this person, but I see that you guys are not going to be given, especially Pisces that was born um, the 15th until the 20th of March. You're not going to give this person a new start. Um, or this person is not going to, it can be vice versa, okay? Could be someone you were dealing with, it could be um, a supporting person to you, but I don't think this person is going to give you a new start for something that you have done, or you be the one. So I see some sort of an inner conflicts is going to be over. I see that a lot of you are going to be taking whatever you have in your end and creating a new um, way of uh, abundance and prosperity moving forward, creating, using the tools in your hand to create money, to manifest a whole lot of materialistic stability moving forward. And I see a lot of you are going to be creating some sort of a new start for yourself. 
but some of you are going to be recognizing someone is not coming on my way and someone is not going to be a part of my world um, because of some sort of a situation. So I see a young um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is looking back at you, Pisces, and saying, hey, um, you know, aren't you going to bring me, um, you know, I, you know, can we uh, reconsider or can you give me a chance? And I see you, Pisces, is going to be looking away and looking away and said no. Um, and, you know, I, I see you, Pisces, recognize that Jesus, why? Why does this person still want to reconnect with me after all that they have done, after all what they have done to me? What is wrong with this person? So I don't know who is this person for you, Pisces, but I see this person looking at the past and, you know, is trying to pull you, Pisces, in because they want to reconnect. And I see you, Pisces, are going to be saying no um, because you recognize what this person how this person have dragged you in some sort of a situation that has created a chaos in your world. And whoever this person is, whether it's a teenager, whether it's a young adult, you Pisces are going to be recognizing I'm staying the hell away from you per you because of what you have got me in. So, you know, Pisces, it's going to be um, a serious situation where um, a lot of you, you, you know, try and figure out who this person is in order to recognize what is happening and transpiring because this is what is going to giving you a push moving forward all right i do love you guys show your love by thumbs up and i will speak to you next <music>